If you guys want to earn some free COD points, check the link in the description titled Free COD Points. Download some apps and earn yourself some COD points today. Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is Merle Bucket. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video. Today, I'm just talking about how you guys can get extreme amounts of XP every single match you play. Um, so, just to put things in perspective here, I am a hardcore player. I do not play core at all. I can't really stand playing core, but this game mode is too good to miss up on. Using this, I was able to get 30 to 50,000 XP every single match, which is the screenshots you're seeing on screen right now. Uh, if you guys have any double XP tokens to save up, this is your chance to use them. You do not want to waste this. Um, and before we get into the video, I just want to touch base on one quick thing, and this is probably the most important part of the entire video. So we are going to be playing Hyper Teen Deathmatch, which if you didn't know, is Teen Deathmatch, which your payloads recharge seven times quicker. And we're going to be using Combat Focus as our payload. And with Combat Focus, you're going to be able to get score extremely, extremely easy, get kill streaks really easy, and uh, you're just going to get so much score, it's going to tally up into XP, um, and you're just going to be set, guys. You're going to be loading up so quickly. So before we actually start into the three main points here, I want you guys to remember to focus on your score. You're not in this to increase your KD. You're not in here to drop 100 plus skill gameplays, obviously, since it's a team deathmatch. You're not in here to get extreme gameplays. You want to focus on score. You want to go for 30 plus kills per match, which is pretty decent for team deathmatch match if you're an average to above average player and you want to shoot uh for 5,000 score as a minimum getting 5,000 score puts you at a nice steady rate to get xp um extremely quickly so now that that's out of the way you can move into the three main points the three main points are going to be class score streaks and map strategy so the class that you're seeing on screen right now is a class that i run with in this game mode it's the one that's been working best for me but you guys can try any classes so as a primary weapon i recommend any ar or smg um, if you have one that has jackpot and or it's mark two those are definitely definitely preferred um you'll just get so much more score and not to mention the 15 percent xp per kill over 30 kills it really does stack up now into perks i always recommend running blind eye and ghost as your first two perks ghost isn't as important as blind eye but uh, i've noticed with hyper team deathmatch people put down those fucking micro turrets all the time and you definitely don't want to die from those if you're streaking if you're a few off advanced or a warden um so i definitely recommend putting on blind eye and for me i run ghost too uh perk two i definitely micro rec the uh, can't fuck talk. I definitely recommend running Hardline, and for Perk 3, I definitely recommend running Gung Ho. Um, so now that that's out of the way, we can talk about Payload. Uh, I just talked about this. The Payload we're going to be using is the Combat Focus. It is one of the first ones you unlock, and it's the best. It doesn't matter what trait you use, really. They're all pretty shitty, to be honest, but you want to make sure you're using Combat Focus. Okay, so moving on into Score Streaks, I always like to run the UAV, Counter UAV, and Advanced UAV. Um, but depending on the kind of player you are, you can swap any of those out. Um, with a warden or a vulture, but what you want to do is you want to make sure you got a kill streak that's going to stay stay in the air for a decent amount of time, and uh, that you don't have to control. So pretty much anything along the lines of that is good because you want to make you want to be getting all that score. The reason I like to run the UAV counter UAV and advanced UAV is because if I pop my combat focus, every single like assist point that I get. Um, that all goes into score and that's all doubled so I've gotten a hundred two hundred score just by getting assists with my with you know my multiple UAVs in the air and it just typically works out very good so I'd always recommend running the three UAVs as your score streaks so finally guys into the map strategy you guys are going to want to rush around the map like a madman which is what you're watching in this gameplay now uh, you want to stay off the ground and this strategy typically tapers to players with a scuff controller or players who use stick and move anything along the line anything along the lines of that where you guys are going to be off the ground for a majority of the game um, and you always want to use combat focus when engaging enemies or whenever your UAV is up. You're going to get it a lot during the game. I'd say you get it 15 to 20 times per game. You basically want to throw it up always if you have a UAV up or whenever you're about to engage an enemy. Um, and finally, guys, don't be afraid to die. This isn't about your KD. This is about you leveling up extremely quickly. This, this method is also pretty good for keys, to be honest. I've gotten, you know, three plus keys in a game, which has only taken seven minutes, which isn't bad at all. Um, but other than that, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. You see never any better than me. I want to see some more uh, Master Prestige 30s out there. And if this video helps you get there, guys, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, my name is Moral Buckeye, and I'm signing out for the day, guys. Peace.